super excited today to get some plants in the ground. Finally, the start of our summer garden. Come along with us. All right, what are we gonna do today, Liam? I'm gonna plant some plants. Are you gonna plant all those? I'm gonna plant all of these. You wanna plant flowers, huh? So, we are just getting ready. Last frost was last night. Looks like the weather's gonna be brilliant for some wonderful tomatoes and peppers to grow. Okay, Odin. Uh -huh. You gonna plant that? Do you know how to plant plants? Dad gonna show you? Ryan, you're gonna plant some plants. Oh yeah, I'm gonna plant some plants. All right, so in this bed, we're doing five tomatoes down the middle and five tomatoes on either side. And we chose to do the sweet 100 cherries and the sweet peppers so that if Odin comes up to this bed and picks something, hopefully it won't be anything that he won't absolutely enjoy. Right, Odin? Where'd your boots go, Odin? Ah. I don't know. Now, a lot of times you'll see people or hear people or read people even saying that these hairs that you see along the outside of the tomato plant, sometimes people say that those are gonna turn into roots, but that's not actually what happens. Those hairs are trichomes. They don't have any root cells in them at all, but there is root cells along the stem and they will come out of the stem. Now, as my tomatoes grow up and get big, once they're about a foot or so tall, I start to trim up the lower third of the plant until that plant is six or eight feet tall. And I always keep that bottom foot of foliage trimmed. It's either one third up to one foot of foliage. Once you're past that foot mark, there's not gonna be a whole lot of splash up from the soil when it rains. So while some people do continue to prune their tomato plants, it is absolutely not necessary. And you actually will have a much bigger crop if you don't trim out your suckers. Truth. Got this bed done. Got some sweet banana peppers, some super sweet 100 cherry tomatoes, and some California Wonder Sweet Bell peppers. Got it all watered in really good. We're gonna water in this bed. Finished planting that one. That one's done. And I think that's gonna be it for today. up the beds that we're working on today our lovely neighbor Miss Elsie stopped by to chat with us she loves to garden and can and so we were talking about canning supplies shortages and the different types of tomatoes we like to grow and why and you know this lady is a wealth of knowledge and and one of the tips that she has given me recently is to plant with the astrological signs 
she provided me with a calendar for that and I really want to give it a try. I've never really done it that way and I figure why not? I can't hurt anything uh, and if it works and provides a better plant that would be really fun to do don't you think Ryan? I think it would be fun to try it out and see if it works good or not. So today is not one of the days that's marked on the calendar that she made for me that's a good planting day but I think I'm going to do my seed sowing vegetables with the calendar. So these were plants that had to get in the ground because they were needing to because they they're in little pots and they just needed to get their roots going. But things like cucumbers and all of the other squash and beans and such that we just directly sow into the ground as seeds. I think I will try to follow the calendar and maybe I'll even experiment and do some with the calendar and some off of the calendar and see if there is a difference side by side. That sounds fun. Yeah, I think so. It'll be interesting if nothing else. And you guys know I like to be scientific and I avoid garden myths, but I also like to experiment in the garden. So this will be a fun experiment for us and check out and see if one of these you know, non-scientific garden myths might have some truth to it. You know, the the moon does play an effect on the tides and our bodies and that's been proven with science so who's to say that it doesn't have an effect on the plants too i bet it does we'll see so now that the beds are full and they have complete weight in them we were able to put our trellis back up the wind blows it over when we have our big wind storms we get here so we needed to get the beds filled so that we could screw it directly into the end of these beds so now it won't fall down anymore in the wind and i absolutely love it oh my gosh y'all this is mine this is my garden this is me and ryan but wow <laughs> you don't even know I can definitely say that we've come a long way. <sighs> Been through so many troubles and <laughs> worries and <laughs> issues and health stuff and financial woes and moving and babies and health stuff. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> things are <laughs> really coming in to fruition it's it's happening all of the dreams all of the desires I've been wanting are finally happening and I can't wait to share it all with you guys <laughs> <laughs>